and welcome to a late fall early winter lookbook by call me frankie hi if you're new here my name is frankie or welcome back how's it going how are you today we're diving into different categories of outfits we've got simple outfits coming at you going out outfits day drinking outfits coffee shop outfits just a little bit of everything remember to press that subscribe button for more tuesday saturday videos and let's dive in with the first outfit so category number one that we're going to be starting off with is just simple staple outfits. One of my favorite ways to style turtlenecks is just with my favorite funky pant, which is these at the moment, these green cargos with a nice leather jacket and some chunky boots. You know, I've got some serious Kim Possible vibes going. We have some serious badassery vibes. Everyday wear, if you're just going to run errands, if you're going to the movies, these pants also make my ass look phenomenal, which is a bonus. Outfit number two, little black vest. Vests are also a staple in your closet. Many people do not believe this, but vests, look, look at this. This is a whole new outfit just off of vests. We have just the simple denim look and white turtleneck with a little fun button up. A nice pair of looser boot cut jean i don't know what type of jean this is so easy and simple just to pair a white turtleneck with some denim blue jeans throw on a little funkier over button up you could this this button up could be anything this could be red this could be green this could be any style just to give the outfit a little more something something and then we add the little toady Whenever trying to pick out a pair of shoes for an outfit, I try to make the shoes tie in somewhere else in the outfit. So, you know, white sneakers are going to play into the white stitching of this jacket. They're also going to play into the white turtleneck. Blazers, oh my god, I love styling blazers. They're a complete staple for my closet, especially oversized ones. Still have a pretty basic base, and I threw on this pinstripe blazer that has like yellow lines in it little pop of a red purse to give it some extra pizzazz so it's pretty simple but by adding little details kind of makes it look like it's more of a complex outfit or like I really fucking tried but I didn't it's really all about the basic underpiece and then adding a funky jacket it really is the red just really makes it pop you know you could throw on like a black beanie also what you can do with an outfit like this is you know Throw in a trucker. This black with design would look really good against this jacket. Another great accessory to include. Just trying to tie in the same colors everywhere in the outfit is really the key. Really love tying in different shades of blue. So this is one of my favorite outfits. Now we got the blue denim jeans, blue jacket, blue toe. You know, this is great for just lounging around the house, going to a coffee shop and working, watching a movie. This is really an everyday, all day outfit. Does not matter where you're at. It's comfy, it's cozy, you still got it going on. Really can just pair any type of funky pant with a white turtleneck as well. Ways we can spice this up. We could add a cool funky purse. I love throwing on colors like this together. This looks great. This is funky, this is fun. Now you're ready to go grab drinks, you know? You can do that. You can, fashion is supposed to be fun. Throw on the trucker, go a different route. That looks great too. We come back to the metallic puffer. It's literally my favorite jacket in the world, so we're gonna come back to it a lot in this video. Look, we're ready to fucking go out in the town. We're ready to go grab brunch. We're ready to go to the library. Category number two, casual everyday daytime outfits. All right, let's, let's fucking do this. So for number one, we have these maroon pants. Again, I'm obsessed with them. I just thrifted them. Put on a graphic tee. This nice little vest that I've got from Zara's men's section. If you're not shopping everywhere when you shop, you gotta change that. You gotta shop in every single section. That's the key to life right there. I think this is great for just relaxing around the house. It's extremely comfortable. You can go to a coffee shop. You may get cold in this, obviously. We're in late fall, winter. In New York, it keeps getting back into the 50s and I'm like sweating my ass off in my apartment, but I'm from Michigan. I know you guys are struggling up there with like 20 degree weather and snow. Mm. Let's add a jacket. 
fall and winter are huge for layering and it's so much fun to layer cool colors textures styles all of it but you can see a little bit of each layer which gives it some pizzazz makes the outfit a little more dynamic running errands going to brunch with friends little black vest you know this is something i probably wear every day no running errands still wanting to feel cute a little vintage feel to it we've got only the top one buttoned here for that little fun opening a little stomach showing we've got a little groovy sweater moment paired with just a pair of jeans i love anything that has like weird lines groove to it to give these pants a round of applause for the eagle sweater and the pants have so much detail that they really tie the outfit together and make me look like i'm really trying once again when i'm not Just some sneakers. And we're styling this graphic tee, thrifted overcoat button up type deal, some loafers, and a black mini skirt. You're going to get coffee in this. You're going to be dressed up, down, wear docks. Yeah. We also could do a little bit of this moment. I have never been so obsessed with an outfit before. Why am I so obsessed with this outfit? Like, look at this. I just created this right now. This is phenomenal. The way that blue and tan slash camel look good, the way they look together is like, oh, it's just fucking, oh. Like, this is a great color combo. This is probably my favorite color combo out of every color combo. Throw on a trucker hat, probably. Yeah, you really could. You really could. We could do a little bit of a this moment. Bring back the green jacket. It looks good. All these colors. You just gotta test your whole outfit out. I mean, your whole closet out. Mm-hmm. It'll be a dish. Mm-hmm. Can you tell that I really love putting different shades of blue together? Once again, another vest look. We've got the blue denim vest over the blue graphic tee and navy blue trousers I don't really know if I have much to say about this one it's just it's just a look it's just a look very layered and it looks like it's really put together it looks like I've got it going on like I said I'm a best bitch so I will find 500 ways to style a vest You know, I'd wear this to go to the coffee shop, run to the post office, literally do anything in this. Chill game night, don't wanna look extravagant. Yeah, super chill outfit. We love a little blazer moment, you know, a low rise jean moment. Recently I've been getting into low rise jeans it's still a little iffy for me. But, you know, put a little Nike short underneath, a compression short, a nice pair of underwear, get a little sneaky. Can you tell that these are my favorite pants and this is one of my favorite jackets? on your favorite pair of sweatpants might happen to be these like windbreaker type deals and it just leads for comfy comfy cozy do like a turtleneck underneath this something different i always just love wearing these black crop tank tops you can button this top part of the cardigan i like how the white for my shoes plays in with the white stitching on the cardigan just helps me pick out my shoes for this outfit. You could go like docks or like black sneakers. Denim jeans, a nice cardigan sweater during the fall or time. It's just stable, stable outfit. So easy, cute. 
I am a huge advocate for buying funky sweaters and just wearing very normal to basic pieces around the sweater. The sweater is a couple different colors. It's got slits in the side. You know, if it's really cold out, you can wear like a leather jacket over this and then the puffer or like a blazer. You know, a black puffer, absolutely staple piece. You know, if you wanted to bring more color into your life with this outfit, you could also go with something more along this line. I love the quilted texture of it paired with like the knit of this sweater. Playing with different types of material and texture, which really make an outfit have dimension, you know? It really makes the outfit go one step further. Time I styled it with some navy blue trousers and this metallic puffer. I recommend just looking into the different colors that are in the funky or unique piece as well. A lot of shades of blue, black, red. Um, my favorite colors that I like to pair with blue, black, and red are navy blue and gray slash silver. Guess what time it is! All right, guys, we're gonna dive into going out outfits. Outfits that are made for out on the town. Get a little frisky. Today we've got the funky red and cream vibe going on. I wore this to a burlesque show one time and I fit right in and it was beautiful. It was a moment. This is like not your typical going out outfit. I wanted to spice it up a little bit. You know, I feel like black is very normal when going out. But you know what, you can dive into creams and funky colors. My favorite place to buy funky button downs or button ups like this is the thrift store. I got this one I think at Goodwill for like $2 back in Michigan. And she serves me well. This is probably one of my favorite going out outfits. Kind of edge. I love a good red and black together. A little red and black moment. You know, we're good to go here. We, we've got it going on, but we're still casual. We're still casual. House party moment. Um, just going to a friend's. They have drinks and game night, something along those lines. A neighborhood bar, just to grab a drink with your roommate. You, still, you don't know what the night's gonna lead into. You've got a nice top on. You could get crazy, but you also are just looking good, looking to have one beer type moment. This is one of those tops that you could really wear anything with it. You could wear my maroon pants that I've shown 1400 times underneath this. You could wear a different pair of denim jeans. You could put a button up over top of this. Like we have so many options here. We could go for a Canadian tuxedo moment. We could do this. You could argue that this outfit is very much for summer, but we're gonna say fuck that. That's what you gotta do. Use your summer pieces for winter. It's all about the layering, guys. It is all about the layering. We decided to button this one here. Got that triangle going again. Got that triangle. If you live in 20 degree weather, I'm sorry, this outfit is probably not for you. <laughs> it's such a fun piece that it really doesn't need much. Like you can wear just plain down jeans, a black mini skirt, literally anything. It looks so good with green. They're both earth tones. Living in New York, I've learned that you can literally wear whatever, whenever, nobody gives a fuck, you have one life, do what you want to do. That is, th that's the gist of life. Honestly, when I saw this shirt, I was like, I have to have this. It's so unique and fun. I bought it at Beacons and I am so excited about it. The option. You really could go graphic tee or no graphic tee here. I just really love the graphic tee with it. I love a good red and black moment. I think this would look best. I don't have one, but like a really long leather, like slim fitting leather jacket. Oh, red moment again. I thought I'd pair it with this just like cardigan. You know, if you're going out, you need some warmth. So you've got this cute little opening. Moving on to work attire. 
work a tire. My last couple of jobs that I've had have been in fashion, so I've been lucky enough to wear whatever the fuck I want to wear. So I'm going to try and do my best here to navigate different areas of work. This is outfit number one. You know, tips for styling work outfits and day-to-day -day outfits is trousers, man. You can style them with graphic tees, turtlenecks, crop tops in the summer. Give a little Bella Hadid moment. Keep it spicy and funky, a little 70s inspired. Um, Turtleneck. We can add like a fun jacket like this over the turtleneck. Has the fun stitching leather jacket, you know, still sophisticated, still ready to fucking rock the job. We're cohesive, we're cohesive. Not wanting to look like a thumb at work. If you don't want to seem like you're trying, but you really are trying. Monochromatic outfits are everything. Different shades of neutrals going on here, different shades of like browns, as well as just black to top it off. So we've got a lot of neutrals going on, kind of a monochromatic base in a way. And yeah, looks like I'm pulling it together. You could also throw on a white sneaker. If you're into it, you could pull a little grandma vibe here get the argyle is that, is that what this is right the argyle sweater vest out sometimes just a look you know casual friday with the sneakers um yeah i've just got a funky sweater on it's really pretty basic but the sweater is doing everything that it needs to do for this outfit to work we've got the maroon pants once again, and then, you know, the button down or the button up underneath the sweater vest. You can choose to style the sweater vest like differently if you want to. Sometimes I like wearing it like this, a little scrunched, or sometimes I like tucking it in underneath. And then I always like to keep the bottom half unbuttoned so you get that nice triangle. I feel like I've talked about that so many times in this video, but it's just another added little touch to the outfit and the detail. That's, that's when the outfit comes out. It's all in the detail. My favorite way to style button ups is usually underneath a sweater vest or over top a tank top or graphic tee. It's honestly one of the easiest looking good, fancy, got my shit together looks is just an all black look. You can wear a sock and a loafer with this. All black is a little much for you. You can always just add a touch of a purse two just to tie the entire outfit together have a little pop of a color you know if you're the type that really likes to look bougie looks like they've got a really going on they're a fancy motherfucker like a nice big furry coat will do the job we're finally done we're finally done okay that literally took me two days to film and i'm sweating and my hair has been through it from taking 45 different turtlenecks off thank you so much for tuning into this lookbook it was actually really fun i also have a lot of outfits for myself that i did not know i had before um i really recommend doing this yourself too or even if you just write on a piece of paper like a bunch of different outfit options it gives you options for when you're drawing a blank on what to wear but if you have any other questions for me about fashion styling anything don't be afraid to message me leave a comment all that yeah but thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and i'll see you next week for tuesday's video goodbye